Lindsay here with Jim Ra. I have a full body workout for you today, Pilates style. If you have a Pilates ball, we'll be using that. You can also use maybe your kid's toy ball or a rolled up towel. There's also an option to not have it at all. So either way is fine. Well, come on over to take a seat. If you have the ball, you'll place it between your shoulder blades and your middle back, and you'll place it right there. If you don't, you'll be up in a curl. Hands will come behind your head, and we'll start with just some regular curls. On your inhale, you'll lean back over the ball, and then on your exhale, you'll curl up. When you curl up, you want to think of pushing your low back towards the ground and bringing your ribs towards your hips, shortening the space in the front of your body. Now you can make this a bigger range of motion by lowering further back and curling higher up if you'd like, or you can keep them smaller, more at the top range. Cool, we'll go into a little routine here. We'll curl up for a count of four, nice and slowly, and then we'll go nice and quick down on one. Exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhale all the way down. Exhale, slow curl up four, and quick down on one. Exhale, curl up for four, three, two, one. Inhale all the way down. Now we'll reverse, quick up, and a slow down. Resist, resist, resist. Exhale for one, Inhale, slow it down. Keep those low abdominals tight. Quick up on your exhale and a slow down on that inhale. Last one. Quick up to exhale and a slow down. Now you'll curl up. We'll twist to our left, twist to our right, come center, lower down. Now as you're doing these twistings, you don't want anything to move in your lower body. So your feet, your knees, and your hips should stay nice and still. When you're curling up, keep your elbows nice and wide. Collarbone is open and shoulders are down your back. Good, so don't get those shoulders up high. Keep them plugged into your spine. Let's go four more. It's an exhale to curl up, two twists, and an inhale to lower down. Last three. The last two, those abs should be warming up. And a last one here, you'll curl up, twist, twist, come center, lower back, take an inhale for circles. We'll curl up the left, come center to the right, lower back. Big circles with your upper body. Make sure your hips are staying still so we don't want that going on. Keep your feet heavily planted into the ground. And at any time, if you want to reach your hands forward, that's also a completely okay option. Without the ball, you can do all of this as well. Final three. Final two. And last one, we're going the other way. You'll curl up the center and down the left. Curl up the right and down the left. Exhale on the lift. Inhale on the back. Exhale, belly to spine. Inhale, hollow back. Good, try to lift up and off that ball, almost like it's not even there. And we'll go last three. Final two. Abs are burning, last one. Let's take a quick break. Lean back over the ball or just rest your head on the mat. You can reach your arms overhead, get nice and long through the body, stretch out your belly, and we're taking it up a notch. So you'll curl up, bring your hands behind your head, bring your left leg to tabletop. On your inhale, stretch your left leg away from you, lean back, exhale, knee to chest, curl up. Inhale, lean back and lengthen, exhale, curl up, right down the center. Now once again, sacrum is super heavy so that our low back and our pelvis are not wobbling around. We don't want to let that low back arch. Add a twist, curl up, twist to the left. Inhale, lean back and lengthen. Exhale, curl up and twist. Inhale, untwist. Exhale, right armpit to left knee. Inhale, take it back. Last three. And last two. Final one, curl it up, plant, change sides, right leg to tabletop, inhale, lean back, exhale, curl up, good, plug your belly, literally as you exhale, you should see those low abs deflate, sinking a little bit deeper every time you exhale, 
ribs should tighten as you lift up. Last one, and now we add that twist. Curl up, twist to your right. Inhale, lean back and lengthen. Exhale, curl up and twist. Inhale with a smile down the center. And we'll go for our last four. Coming up and off that ball, keeping your elbows wide for three. Last two, last one. Good, plant your feet, reach your arms forward. Curl up nice and high, you'll reach your left hand for your left heel. Come center, right hand to the right heel. Getting a little bit into those obliques. So you wanna think of your left ribs going down towards your left hip bone and then your right ribs going down towards your right hip bone. Or a side body crunch. Maybe a little less anatomy while you're working so hard. Good, now we'll go for a double. Reach, reach, other side. Reach, reach. Now make sure you're not leaning on the ball. Stay lifted and in that working zone. Be honest with yourself. Last two, last one, hands will go up into a big circle like you're hugging a moon. On your inhale, open your arms, curl up. Exhale, lean back, hug your moon. Inhale, open, curl up. Exhale, lean back and hug. Final four. Stay with me for three. Last two. Last one, curl up, reach those arms forward. Little pulses to finish. How far can you curl up? Plug those shoulders and do it with a smile. You've got six and five, four, three, two, and one. Oh boy, lay it all the way back. Let your core stretch out. Reach your arms overhead. Maybe take them out to a T. Take a moment, allow yourself to breathe, and then you'll peel it up. Moving into warming up those legs. So you'll lie on your back. Place the ball, if you have one, in between your knees. If you don't have a ball or a towel, you'll completely glue your legs together like so. But if you have that ball, place it in between your thighs. Feet are about hips distance apart. Collarbone is wide, you're in a neutral spine. Flat back, hips will lift right up, squeeze your butt. Hips lower right back down. Exhale to lift, and an inhale to lower. If you don't have the ball and your knees are completely glued together for this one, because we're gonna start to get into those inner thighs. Here we go. Exhale, hips lift up, squeeze your glutes. Squeeze the ball once, squeeze and release. Hips lift up, squeeze the ball or your legs twice. Squeeze, squeeze, lower down. Exhale to lift for three squeezes. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Take it back to the mat. For four, collarbone is wide, chin is off the chest. Taking it for five, squeeze your butt and your belly on the left. And now we're going for six squeezes. We go up, squeeze for six, five, four, three, two, one, all the way down and up for seven, six, five. Clinch into your sits bones, make sure those glutes are engaged. Take your hips down, we're going for eight, all the way to 10, this one is eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Make sure you're squeezing both legs equally. This one's a total of nine. Last four, three, two, one. Last set here, hips go up, squeeze your butt. We've got 10, nine, hips are high, collarbone open, and you're breathing. Final five, four, three, two, and one. Lower your hips on an inhale. Lift your hips on an exhale. It's one squeeze of the ball, one pulse of the hips. One squeeze, one pulse. Now, when you squeeze the ball or you're squeezing your knees together, if they're glued together, you wanna feel those inner thighs firing. So if you don't have a ball, imagine you have one in between your thighs and you're trying to pop it. If you do have a ball, literally try to pop it. See what happens. All right, let's go five more like this. As you pulse your hips up, it's not just a lift and lower, it's an also a contraction of the backs of the legs. You wanna feel your glutes and your hamstrings working. Final three, and two. Last one, hold the squeeze on the ball. Now squeeze in and in with just the left knee. Squeezing your left knee towards your right knee. Stabilize with your right knee, don't let it go anywhere. That left inner thigh is working. Hold the squeeze on the ball with both knees. Now just the right knee is squeezing in and in. 
Good. If you don't have the ball, you're creating pressure with your own body by hugging your legs to the midline. Just the right leg squeezes for the last three, two, and one. Both legs squeeze. Final ten. Squeeze more and more. Barely release that ball. Last six, five. Hips are high. Belly tight. Three, two, and one. Hips to the mat. That was the warm up for the next one. Single leg bridge, you'll take your left leg to the sky. If you have the ball, you'll pace it behind the back of the left knee. Otherwise, your left leg will be in tabletop. Neutral spine, belly tight, right foot planted in line with your right hip. Exhale, lift your hips up. Inhale, lower your hips right back down. If you've got that ball, you're just gently squeezing it so that it doesn't escape you. If you don't, left leg to tabletop. Make sure the backs of the shoulders are wide into the mat so that your shoulders aren't rounding forward. So Pilates can be made quite a workout, but we want to still keep that classical alignment and posture happening. Good. Let's go four more here. Exhale on the lift and inhale on the lower. Final three. Last two, then we keep those hips up. Last one, keep your hips up. Now you go one lift of the hips, one squeeze of the ball. One lift of the hips, one squeeze of the ball. If you don't have the ball, you're just squeezing your heel towards your tush, doing a little hamstring curl. One lift, one squeeze. That right leg should be on fire. One lift, one squeeze. You've got six. Final five. Last four. Final three. Last two. Last one, hold the lift, push into the backs of the arms. You've got eight and seven, keep those hips high, squeeze that ball, final four, three, two, and one. Take it to the mat. You'll plant your left foot down, stretch that right leg up, give it a good flex, and now take the ball behind the back of that right leg. Heel to tush, neutral pelvis, belly tight, here we go. Exhale, hips lift, inhale, hips lower. Every time the hips tap the mat, you should be in that neutral alignment in your back. So you've got that natural lumbar curvature. A little air pocket is happening. Make sure all of your spine is not flat for this one. Good. Exhale on the lift. Inhale on the lower. Once you've got the alignment, make sure you're looking straight up to the ceiling. Chin stays off the chest. Collarbone is wide. Good. Working all the curves of the spine. And we'll go last five. Push into all parts of that left foot. Your pinky toe, your big toe, and your heel. For four. And three. Keep that core engaged. Final two. Last one. You'll hold the lift of the hips. It's one lift of the hips, one squeeze of the ball. One pulse of the hips, one squeeze of the ball. If you don't have the ball, no worry. You're just pulling your heel towards your tush and you're finding that contraction in your own body. Squeezing the muscles in that right leg. Right, let's go last six and five. Use the backs of the arms as it starts to get challenging. Last three and two. Last one, all the way up on one. Squeeze the ball, squeeze your glutes, keep your hips high. You've got 10 and nine for eight, seven. Don't let them drop. Final four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Reach your legs up to the ceiling. Flex your feet. Find that length through the backs of the legs. Take a second. And then we're going to go for some low belly work. So if you have the ball, we'll use it not it's totally fine your heels will be together toes will be apart if you don't have the ball if you do same thing but the ball will be in between those heels toes and knees apart imprint your spine smush your back into the mat nowhere between the back and the floor collarbone is wide little squeezes on the ball now if you don't have the ball you'll use your heels squeeze in and in push your heels into one another create that resistance throughout your body Everybody should start to feel their inner thighs here. It's kind of a theme for the last couple of moments. Make sure you're staying imprinted in that low back. We'll continue to pulse the heels in as we lower the legs down. Make sure you stop before your low back arches and then little squeezes of your heels as you lift your legs back up. It's an inhale to squeeze your legs as you lower down and an exhale to squeeze your legs as you lift back up. 
Good, literal inner thigh pulses. Squeeze in and in on the way down. Squeeze in and in on the way back up. When your legs go down, you never lower past the place that that low back is staying heavy. If you feel your ribs and your belly start to pop, that's where I want you to stop. Last one, taking it to your lowest point, bend your knees in for frog, they'll separate shoulder distance apart. Now extend your legs, squeeze your inner thighs in that ball. Inhale to bend, exhale, extend and squeeze. Good, let's go four more like this. Think of your glutes and your hips wrapping on the extension. Last two, final one here. Stretch those legs long, squeeze your inner thighs. Go parallel with your feet. If you don't have the ball, glue them all the way together. Hands press into the mat, little footprints. Flex your feet, little lifts of your hips, like you're stamping the sole of the foot onto the ceiling. Now, if this is really challenging for you, really try to use your arms to help you lift your hips. And then, once this gets easier, Take away that crutch, maybe hover your arms and see if you can really lift your hips by using just those low abs. Use an exhale as you lift your hips, <sighs> like you're fogging a mirror. <sighs> Good, exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Final four, and three, for two, and one. Now point your toes, squeeze your inner thighs in the ball. Keeping your legs connected, we'll draw a circle to the right, lower down, left, come center, and reverse. To the left, lower down, right, come center. Now as you're drawing these circles, one in each direction, really work the flexibility of the legs. Reach through the toes, point them, straighten through the knees. Make sure your pelvis is not rocking around. So it's a small circle, it's not a big movement. Good, keeping that low back imprinted and smushed into the ground. Last one each way. Final one here. Bend your knees, remove that ball, take a little butterfly stretch. Let's open up those inner thighs. Ah, you know there's more to come. So we'll bring, come into windshield wipers. These are super fun. Bring the ball back in between your feet if you have it. Legs are in tabletop. Hug everything to the midline. Glue your legs together if you don't have that ball. You'll take your arms out a little bit wider and then plant them down on the floor. Imprint your spine belly is tight. Drift your knees to the left, but keep your right shoulder completely down. And then on your exhale, you use your core to pull yourself back to center. Inhale, knees go right. Make sure this guy does not lift up. And then exhale, come back to center. Using the waist and the breath to return yourself to the center. Now this is a starting place. It might not feel too challenging yet, but don't worry, there's more. There's more, there's always more. I like to layer. So if this is good for you, stay here. If you want a little bit more, you'll extend your legs. You'll send them further over than you did before, but make sure your right shoulder and your right ribs don't lift. Exhale, pull back to center. Inhale, drift to the right. Left side body stays heavy, but the left hip can lift. Exhale, pull center. You should feel all of your waist twisting. And then exhale, use those abdominals. Fire that low belly to move your legs back to the midline. Now see if you can do this with your arms hovering, but keeping that chest still and planted on the mat. Oh, it's a little bit harder. Hug the ball, hug the inner thighs. Now let's go three more, one to each side. Twisting through the low body, really engaging and hugging, wrapping, cinching that waist. Last one here, and exhale, come center. Bending those knees, we'll remove the ball and we'll come on up to a seat. Take a quick stretch for that low back. So you'll come into a crisscross applesauce kind of position. One leg in front of the other, sit up nice and tall, and then you'll lean forward. Think of really lengthening forward as you fold, like you're pulling your upper body out of your lower body. That'll stretch that low back out. Feel free to add any movement that you need. You can walk your hands all the way forward and fold if you need that. Take a big inhale. We'll roll it all the way up and we'll simply switch the cross of your legs. So other leg comes in front. Sit up tall, lengthen lean, pull your chest over your shins and then fold over your legs. Let's release that low back before we get into even more work. Good, and then we'll come all the way up. If you have the ball, we'll continue to use it. If not, we'll give you an option without it. So you'll come to lie on your stomach. 
You'll bend your heels. Your knees are apart, your heels will go together if you don't have the ball. If you do, the heels are together, toes and knees are apart, and you're pinching the ball with your heels. Adds a little bit of wobbliness. Hopefully I don't lose it while I do this. First part of this exercise, legs will stay down. Hips are pushed into the mat, glutes are tight, fingertips by your ears. On your exhale, keeping your shoulders down, you'll lift your upper body up. We'll do a side bend to the left, left elbow going towards your left hip. Come center, side bend to the right. Good. We're just going left and right, doing a little bit of an oblique crunch here. You're trying to stay high in the chest. Keep your pubic bone pressing into the floor so that our low back is lengthened. Tailbone is reaching down towards the bottom of the mat. We're taking it side to side in this upper body, getting a little bit of rotation, lateral bending, all the goods. Keep your belly lifted. How do you do that? Tighten your core. Good, we'll go four more for four. And last three. If you've got the move, keep your eyes facing the ground. And final two. Okay, and we'll go last one to the left, to the right. Come center, forearms down. We'll work that lower body. Squeeze your glutes, push your hips into the mat. Little lift and lowers of the legs. Thighs will go up and down. Squeeze into the ball gently, not too much or else you'll, you might lose it. Grip your glutes, tighten them. Keep your heels over your knees. Make sure they're not too far away. Going up an inch and down an inch. Good, so this is kind of just the beginning. We're gonna put those two exercises together. But if it's too much, come back to just doing the upper body and then the lower body. Last five here, squeeze your glutes to lift. Keep your navel engaged and your shoulders down. Final two. Last one. Fingertips back by your ears. You'll lift everything up, legs and chest. Legs stay still, glutes are engaged, thighs are off the mat. We'll go back into those side bends. Bring your ribs down towards your hips on the same sides. Good, squeeze and a squeeze. You should really start to feel that waist here. Now as we're side bending, try not to let the hips move around. Keep even weight on both sides of your hips, so none of that right there. Keep those legs still. Good, last four and three. Can you get your side bending even deeper for two? Last one. Come back to center. Now we'll go lower body for 10. Keep the thighs up and just pulse it up and up for 10. As you lift your legs, squeeze your glutes. Clench them nice and tight. If you have no ball, push your heels actively into one another. Make sure they're connected. Shoulders are down. Last engage. Final four and three. For two, hold the lift. Now everything for 10. Upper and lower. Upper body lifts, lower body lifts for eight and seven, shoulders down, wide chest for six, and five, for four, and three, holding for two, and one, keep the lift, reach your legs higher, reach your chest higher, you've got eight, squeeze your butt, squeeze your inner thighs, four, three, two, and one. Taking it all the way down, remove the ball, we'll take a child's pose. <laughs> Knees are wide, hips to your heels, Melt it back, maybe take a little shift, let that low back release. Maybe rest your forehead, take a moment, and then we're coming all the way back up. Okay, it's time for some planks. I absolutely love planks, so I always try to make variations of them. If you have the ball, you'll use it. If not, no worries. So first you'll take yourself into a plank. Hands underneath shoulders, toes underneath hips, You'll scoop and tuck that low back so your low belly is lifted. If you don't have a ball, you'll just hover your left hand. Make sure your hips don't shift around. If you do, you'll place the ball underneath your left hand, but not a lot of weight. So we're trying to work into using just three limbs, not using that left hand. Now check your hips, tilt them to the right so we help square off. We're holding this guy for 20 more seconds. Stay with me. Keep your neck in an alignment with your spine, so look down to the floor. Make sure your chin is not dropping, so pull that head up. Your head is just as active here as everything else. Thighs are engaged, glutes are lifting. Put more weight into your left foot. 
and we'll go final ten, eight, final six, last four, three, two, and one. Okay, now the ball will go behind the back of your left leg. Kick your heel to your tush. If you don't have the ball, you'll just bend your knee. Coming back up into another plank. Step your right foot back, hands underneath shoulders. Another three limbed variation. Shoulders are down, ribs are in and up. Keep squeezing your heel towards your tush. You'll tap your knee towards the floor and then exhale to push it up. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift it up. Now as you're moving this left leg, check that nothing is happening in that spine. We wanna stay really strong in the torso. So no arching of that low back, no flaring of your ribs. Try not to let your chest sink through your arms. Stay strong. You've got eight to go for eight. Squeeze the back of your leg to lift. Final six. Stay strong in that right supporting leg. Five more for five. And last four. I know you can do three more. Last three. And two. Final one. All the way up. Squeeze and release. Okay, side two for those planks. So the ball will go underneath your right hand this time, or you'll hover your right hand if you don't have the ball. Hey, left hand underneath shoulders, fingers step back behind you, either hovering the right hand or it comes to the ball. Now if you're putting it on the ball, it's not about putting a lot of pressure in the ball. It's just actually lifting the hand up would probably be even more challenging. So you'll tilt your hips to the left, bring weight into that right foot, lift your core, pull your shoulders down, smile, you love planks just as much as I do. <laughs> I actually really like them. I'm not lying, I really do. Okay, you've got 20 seconds left. Good, check your hips, make sure they're not tilting, uh-oh. And last 10, eight, breathe through it. When it gets hard, don't give up. Final five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, take it to the mat. We'll go for that plank with the ball behind the back of the right leg. You'll extend your right leg, place the ball behind the back of the knee, heel to your tush. Fingers are wide underneath your shoulders. Step your left foot back, take an inhale. Here we go. Lifting up into your plank, flex your right foot, bring your heel towards your tush. On your inhale, you'll dip the knee towards the floor. On your exhale, you'll push it up to the sky. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Right here. So not only are we working full body in this plank, but we're kind of burning out the back of that right leg. So as the right leg lifts, you should feel the hamstring, so the back of the leg, and your right glute, AKA your butt. So squeezing into it, you've got eight more. We go eight. Exhale, lift, low abs in for five. And four. Last three. Final two, final two, final two. I'm just kidding, last one. Good, and then we'll come all the way down. I think we deserve a stretch. Let's put the ball aside for a moment. So we will come up to kneeling for stretch. You'll extend your left leg forward, foot is flexed, left hip is down. So make sure you're not crunching into the left side of your body. Long spine, you'll lean forward. Fingertips will go outside of this left leg. Now really pull those toes back, not a relaxed foot. The more you flex it, the more you'll get into the back of that leg. But lengthen through the spine, chest out, tail out. And we'll go to our second side. You'll step this left foot back in, then we'll go to the other side. So right leg goes straight in front of you. Flex your toes towards you, make sure your hips are squared. And then you'll reach your chest over your toes. Fingertips come to the mat. Good. Almost thinking of arching your back here. So opposite of what we were doing in your plank. So we don't want to be here with that long low back, long chest. Good, and now we are ready for some more. Okay, so we'll come all the way up. And we will start with either the ball or your hand on the mat. So you'll have the ball in your left hand. Your left knee will be in alignment with your left hand. If you don't have the ball, you'll simply plant your hand on the mat. You can go hand, fingertips, fist. Any of those are appropriate. Push your hips forward. You want your chest, your hips, 
in one line, top hand on your hip. Now the ball adds a little bit of instability, so if you, even if you have it and you don't like it, you can ditch it. Flex your right foot, lift out of your waist, exhale, lift your right leg up, inhale to lower it down. It's an exhale to lift and an inhale to lower. When you lift your right leg up, you should feel the outside of your right hip kind of tighten up. That's where you want to hold at the top and squeeze. No momentum here. It's not about kicking the leg. It's about finding that place where you're working through something sticky, like a pool or think molasses. When you're banking, it's sticky when it gets in your hands. So think about your leg being in that. And last two. Last one, you'll keep the leg lifted this time. You'll bend the knee towards the chest and then reach it back out and lift it up. Bend the knee towards the chest, reach it back out, lift it up. Check that your hips and shoulders are staying stacked and your belly button is not relaxed. It is staying engaged. Then we'll go last two. Then make sure your knee and toes face forward. We're not turning them up to the sky. Hold the lift, now you'll point your toes and we'll circle that leg around. Now we'll go six. Almost act like you don't have that left hand on the ground and you're really trying to lift those left ribs up. And then we'll reverse those circles for six. And five. For four, it's getting challenging, stay with me. Last three. And two, pulses to finish. Reach it to the sky, keep it parallel. Lift from the outside of that hip. You have five, a little higher for four, a little higher for three, and two. And one, bring it all the way down. Okay, we'll come to lay down on our left side. You'll have your left forearm underneath your left shoulder. Knees are bent in front of your hips. If you have the ball, you'll place the ball behind the back of the right knee. Squeeze your heel to your tush. No worries if not. Tap hand onto your hip. You'll lift your right leg up and down and up and down. Continue to working in that abductor, that side glute, just like we were before, so it should already be burning. Good. Now, if you're on your forearm, make sure you're not hanging out there. Still stay active. Also think about lifting your left ribs up. And you want to keep the, weight, the length in the top waistline, so none of this action. Push that hip away from you. And now you'll keep your leg up, and you'll squeeze the ball once, and pulse the leg up once. Squeeze the ball, pulse up. Squeeze the ball, pulse up. If you don't have the ball, you'll just squeeze your heel towards your tush and then pulse up. So either way works. Sticking with me for five and four. For three, squeeze and pulse up for two and one. Now you'll circle that knee around. Make sure it's not the lower part of the leg that's circling. You want to see the movement happening from the hip joint. Big circles, focus on the lift. Got four more on this side, and we're reversing those circles. Last three, and two, and one. I'm starting to shake. Let's reverse those circles. And make sure, as this leg is moving around, that your torso is staying stable, so those abdominals are still working, even in this position. Good. Final four circles on this leg for four, and three, for two, and one. Bring the leg up. You'll tap your feet together and then your knees together. Feet tap and a knees tap. Feet tap and knees tap. If you have that ball, squeeze it hard. Try not to lose it. You're turning in with the knee and out with the knee. Internal re rotating, externally rotating. Turn in, turn out. Last three, final two. Last one, you know we got pulses. Bring that leg up, pulse it up. Knee in line with hip, faces directly forward. Final 10, At nine, eight, seven. Push out of your supporting arm. Stay with me for four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Okay, coming into a side plank. You'll extend your legs long. The feet will be staggered. So you have your right foot forward, left foot back. And we'll come up onto our left palm. Left palm directly underneath your left shoulder. If you have the ball, we'll use it just for fun. On your inhale, reach your top arm all the way up and over, big side bend. Exhale, lower your hips down, lower your arm down. Inhale, big side body stretch. Exhale, dip the hips towards the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower. Last one. Inhale, lengthen. Feel the stretch. And then you'll reach that right arm up to the sky. The right arm will reach underneath your left side body. 
Inhale, open it up. Exhale to twist. Inhale to open. Good, twist through the ribs, but keep the hips nice and still. Final three. Good, stay with the breath when it gets hard. It's an exhale on the twist, and an inhale on the open. Last one here. Open it all the way up, and now pulse your hips up and up. Use your left oblique and your left outer hip. You've got five, taking them higher for four, and three, for two, and one. Melt it down to the mat. Let's take a stretch. So you'll bend your left knee, heel is close to you, knee in line with belly button. You take your right foot outside of that knee. You should feel that area we worked. And then you'll hug this right knee in with your left arm. Make sure that you keep weight over on that right hip. Sit up nice and tall. Take a moment. If you wanna come into a little bit more of a twist, you'll turn your upper body towards the right to the wall behind you. And that'll do it. It is time for our second side. So grab your ball if you have it. Come up to kneeling. You'll have the ball in your right hand. If you don't have the ball, you'll plant your hand right in line with that right knee. And then you'll extend your left leg long. Hand, knee, and foot all in alignment. Hands to your hips. Press your hips forward and squeeze your glute. But almost as if the floor isn't there, lift out of that supporting arm. You'll flex your foot. Exhale to lift it up. Inhale to lower it down. It's an exhale to lift and an inhale to lower. Check your form. Make sure your knee and toes are facing the wall in front of you. Good. You're squeezing the outside of your hip as you lift. So once again, no momentum in this position. Abs are tight. Glutes are tight. Tailbone is pushing forward so that you're lengthening that low back. And you're feeling that outer hip on the lift. Let's go two more. Last two. Last one. Now you'll hold the lift. Bend the knee towards the line of the hip. Reach it out. Lift it up. Bend the knee in. Reach it out. Lift it up. Bend in. Reach out and lift. But remember to cinch the waist here. So we're full body exercise. Everything is working. Okay, let's go last three. Even as you bend the knee in, try to keep it lifted. Final two. Last one, we'll lengthen it out, point the toes, and we've got those circles. We're still staying parallel. Make sure that you're not leaning too much into that right hand. I just had to adjust myself, so do that if you need to. Reverse those circles. Finding that shake, find your breath. We'll go six. Final four. Add three. For two, last one, we got pulses to finish. Stick with me, 10, nine, eight, seven. I'm shaking, shake with me for four, three, two, and one. Woo, that one was a killer. Okay, we'll come to lay on our right side now. So you'll be on your right forearm, elbow is underneath shoulder. We're staying engaged in that side body. Bend your knees in line with your hips. You'll take the ball, place it behind the back of your left leg. From here, push your left hip away from you. Find length in that side oblique. Exhale, lift your left knee up. Inhale, lower it down. So you'll still feel the burn from that last exercise. Yet not quite as challenging because now we're laying down a little bit more. But don't sink into your form. Still try to stay active. Then it's an exhale to lift and inhale to lower. Now if you don't have that ball, remember you're just kicking your heel towards your tush and keeping it there so you have a contraction in the back of your leg. Last three, and two. Final one, keep that knee up at hip height. It's one squeeze of the ball, one lift of the leg. One squeeze, one lift. One squeeze, one lift. When you're squeezing your heel towards your tush, you're engaging that hamstring. When you're lifting the leg up, you're feeling that side glute. Let's go four more. One squeeze, one lift. Last three, and two. Last one, one squeeze, one lift, and take it into those circles. Moving from the hip, circling in the hip joint. Pushing out of your forearm. It should start to burn. Actually, I think we're past starting to burn. It burns, but hang in there. Let it burn. 
So three more circles and then we're taking it the other way. Last two. Last one, let's reverse those circles. Check back in on that alignment. Make sure your hips are stacked and your shoulders are stacked. And we'll go last four. Focus on the top range of the circle. Make sure you're lifting it up. And last two. And last one. Now we'll tap our knees together and then tap our feet together. And knees tap and feet tap. Turn in, turn out. Internally rotate externally rotate getting all of that movement in the hip but keep your heel squeezing towards that ball and now you're trying to turn in and turn out as much as possible so when your feet tap your knee is as high as possible and when your knee taps your feet are as far apart as possible and we'll go last three push out of your supporting arm for two last one lift that leg up to hip height pulse to finish we go ten up and up Last eight, up and up. First seven, a little higher, squeeze the ball, squeeze your glute, contract into the back of that leg. Final six and five for four. Last three and three and three for two and one. Man, time for a side plank. So grab the ball, we'll come up onto our right palm. The palm will be underneath your shoulders. Feet will be stacked. Have your left foot forward, right foot back. You're on the edge of the feet, so you can push the sides of the feet into the ground. Anchor that left shoulder into your back body. Reach your top arm to the sky. On your inhale, left arm reaches up and over. Big side bend. Exhale, lower the arm and the hips. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Using that waist. Exhale, taking it to the mat. Good. Inhale to lengthen and lift. Exhale, lowering it down. Last one, inhale, lengthen, lift. Finding your side plank, you'll reach your left arm underneath your right waistline. Inhale, stretch it up to the sky. Exhale, twist through the chest. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Now make sure you keep pushing out of your supporting arm. So shoulders not coming here, push and stay active. Last three. Final two, legs are get engaged. Feel that inner thigh connection. Last one, find your plank and pulse those hips up. So rely on the legs here, not just that arm. Pull your chest back, send your hips forward. We go for eight and seven. Last six and five, four, three, two, and one. Bringing it to the mat, let's stretch that out. So you'll have your right knee bent in line with the center of your body, your belly button. Left foot comes outside of that right leg. And you'll hug the left knee in with your right arm. Try to drop your left hip back to the mat. So you feel a big stretch in that hip. If you want to take a twist, we'll start to turn to the left, opening your left shoulder up, looking towards the waves, <laughs> or my waves. Good, and then gently release. Okay, last exercise, and then we're into some stretching. Teasers, grab your ball if you have one. Heels together, toes and knees apart. You'll squeeze the ball, knees are slightly turned out, arms are forward. If you don't have the ball, heels together, toes apart. Sit up nice and tall, you'll stretch your legs forward. We're just taking a hold, belly engaged, thighs tight. Shoulders down, really tall and lifted. Find that posture, arms reach forward. If you need a little more, start to squeeze in and in on your heels or that wall. If you need a little more, arms go up. Now as the arms go up, try not to lean back. Stay really tall through the crown of the head. Lift, lift, lift with a smile. You got 10, nine, squeeze the ball. Find the inner thighs, ribs together. Shoulders slide down the back. Reach long through your fingers. Final four, three, two and one bend your knees in nice work guys it's time to do a stretch so you'll come on up to kneeling and then you'll step just your left foot forward take it wide so it's beyond this edge of the hip and then you'll lean into your hips hands come inside of your left leg you'll untuck your right toes and we're starting with a hip flexor stretch on that right hip lots of ab work Gotta stretch that guy out. Good, to intensify, you'll keep your right hand on the mat, bend your right heel in, and reach back for it with your left hand. Give it a good pull. 
you need even more, you can come down onto your right forearm. Good. Pull in and with that arm and drop those hips down towards the mat. Good. And then release the back leg. You'll bring your left leg into pigeon. If you aren't familiar, I'll walk you through it. You'll walk your foot over to the right. Your knee will be bent. The less flexible you are, the closer the heel will be to your body. So if it feels really hard, pull your heel in close. If you're pretty flexible, you'll take your leg out. So you're making a 90 degree bend. Knee in line with ankle. Square your hips, lean into that right hip, and then you can fold over. Now maybe forearms is a challenge. If you really wanna go for it, you'll lay all the way down, walk your arms forward, and rest into it. This one can be in pretty intense, so just try to breathe through it as much as you did with the exercises. Remember to keep that left foot flexed while we are in it. Good, holding here for five more seconds. Let's take a big inhale. Maybe getting a little bit lower if you feel like you can handle that. And then we'll come all the way up. So come all the way back up and we'll take those stretches on our second side. So you'll step your right foot forward. It will go as wide as the mat and then you'll lean your hips forward. If you need a deeper stretch, you'll walk that left knee back and then you'll lean your weight into that left hip. So you wanna feel the front of the hip opening up. Good. And then we'll take it into that quad, that thigh stretch. If that's too much, just stay in this one. You'll bend your left heel in, reach back for it with your right hand. If you need more, you're pulling that heel closer to you, as well as making your way down onto your left forearm. Turn your chest to the right, give that leg a nice good pull, let the hips drop towards the mat, breathe into your stretches, and then you'll release that leg Coming into our pigeon stretch, you'll walk your right foot across the mat over to the left. So the knee will bend. If the heel is pretty close to you, that's a little less flexible. This might be intense. You can even stay up onto your hands if it feels like it's too much. If you're ready for more, walk that ankle in line with your knee and then bring your weight over onto your left hips. So we don't want to be sitting on the right hip. We want to be squared off and then really lengthen out of your waist like someone's holding you at your hips. Pull yourself forward to then fold over this right chin. Maybe taking it all the way down to a rest. But it's your stretch, you deserved it. Stay where you need to be. Lengthening out all those muscles we just worked. And about 10 more seconds here, so connect with your breathing. Big inhales, filling up the core. Big exhales, releasing the muscles in the face and the shoulders. And then you'll start to lift yourself all the way up out of this stretch. And then come to take a seat on your mat. And let's just seal it in. Let's take a big inhale, sweep our arms up. And then exhale, drawing your hands down and giving yourself a round of applause. Awesome work, guys. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys next time. I want to invite you to join one of 50 free workout programs at gymra.com. You're never going to get bored and you'll have enough workouts to keep you busy for years to come. I know that's exciting. You'll never hit that workout plateau. Let me show you a little bit about what you can expect. When you sign up for a free account on gymra.com, you'll be asked whether you'd like to be assigned a program based on several basic questions about your fitness level and goals. If you'd rather browse the programs and weigh your options, click on no, I do not want any programs. Head to the programs tab and scroll to find a program that fits your needs. As you can see, we cover everything from weight loss to toning and sculpting, yoga, Pilates, abs, lower body, upper body, we have it all. Now let me show you how the programs work. If you've chosen to be on a program, when you log into gymra.com, you'll be directed to the My Program page, featuring your workout of the day. All you have to do is press play and start exercising. To see details about the workout, click on More Info. The animated GIFs below are the individual moves in the routine. Here, you can see your workout at a glance. You also have access to your personalized weekly and monthly calendar. 
You can change your program by clicking on the Change Program button. Simply click on See All, then select your desired program. Watch the introduction video and check out the details by scrolling down the page. If the program looks like a good fit for you, then simply click on Switch to this program and you're all set. Your new program will start automatically. If you're unable to do the workout, save it for later by clicking on the plus button next to the title. This adds it to my list. I want to thank you for choosing Jimra. I know you have a lot of options. We've spent so much time and effort here to bring you world-class trainers, a huge variety of workouts, and it's all for free. So thanks again for joining me. I hope you enjoy the free workout programs and we'll see you soon.